morning, everybody. We're going to make a party mix in the slow cooker or crock pot, whatever you have. Um, it has to be on low for two to three hours. So we're going to use two cups of rice or corn, check, mix, whatever you got, two cups of wheat, two cups of Cheez-Its, two cups of mini pretzels, one cup of peanuts, and then you're going to stir it in. And then you're gonna take one stick of melted butter and a fourth cup of Worcestershire, and you're gonna put it in. Then we're gonna add one teaspoon of garlic, one teaspoon of onion, and it says mustard, but I don't wanna use mustard. This is a new, um, it says mustard seed, but this is a new recipe. Uh, I'm gonna opt out on that one. And then you wanna stir it all up, put a paper towel so you catch the condensation. So we're gonna get started. Okay, we are starting with two cups of toasted corn. I don't know how this is gonna go for me. Okay, two cups of toasted corn. Uh, I think I, now let me see, two cups of, of wheat. <sighs> Cheez-Its, I'm using the white. You can use yellow or you can mix. Okay. And let me see here. Two cups of pretzels. Whoa, pretzels on the loose here. Two cups of pretzels. And two cups of dry. Turn it around here. Dry roasted peanuts. Two cups. Wow. Okay. I do have a helper standing next to me, Mr. R, if I needed his help. But I'm, you know me, I want to do things myself if I can. We're going to scoop this in here. Okay. Just going to mix this around a little like this. Now look at that yummy. Mmm. You don't want to break anything, so you've got to be very, very gentle. Just like that. Okay, then we're gonna take one stick of melted butter. Just trying to get in on the sides. Get it every little which way you can. Then you want to take a fourth of a cup of Worcestershire sauce. It's been poured out for me already. I want to put that on there. Whoops. I just spilt a little, but that's okay. It's all good. I just want to wipe it. It's on my notes so I don't forget what I'm doing. That's okay, we'll put something underneath it and it will dry right off. Now, we're gonna take the spoon again. We're gonna gently, Ray, could you give me a flat spatula? I think maybe that may work too. You just gently wanna stir it up. Stir it in, you wanna get down in there. So the main thing is you don't wanna Oops, I meant a spoon spatula, but that's all right. I said spatula. It's still okay. It's still moving. Might even be better. Who knows? But you don't want to... You don't want to crack everything. Now, I'll be putting this in a party tin. And then when it gets closer to Christmas, I'll be filling Christmas tins and giving it out to family members. Okay, now we did that. 
Now, we want to put in, uh, let's see, we got, now we need one teaspoon of garlic. Whoops, right there, right here. One teaspoon of garlic. We like garlic. This uh, measuring spoon goes either or, still one teaspoon. I think I'm going to put in two. It calls for one, but I like everything with a little pop. I'm putting two. You can put one. This is a new recipe to me. This is onion. We like onion too. There's one. And we're going to go for two. And what we're going to do is we're going to stir it in again. Mix all those flavors. And you can stir it like this and just add the seasonings in different layers too. So whatever you want to do. Whatever makes you feel happy. You know, Grammy, she's always got to do something with a twist. And I always like to alter a little because that's just the way I am. That's just the way I am. Doesn't that look good? I kind of like this spatula better than the spoon because you can get around the sides better and you can get down better with, I feel, without having to break anything or crack anything. Just like that. So, we're gonna put a paper towel over it now. Cook it for two to three hours. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna put mine on for two. I'm gonna come back and see how it's going. And then I'll let you know from there. But, perfect for the amount of my cooker. I took off three sections. They come in the little sections here. I took three because of the way my slow cooker is designed. This way it will absorb all the moisture. Whoops. Might have to have, no, nope, I got it. I thought I was gonna have to have help but I got it. And I'm going to bring you back. Ray, you're gonna to have to do that one in two hours. And I'm gonna plug it in because that would be a real important thing. And I've got it on low. We'll see you back here. Go have a special beverage of your choice. Hello everybody, the party mix is done. I'm unable to lift it because of my hand, but I'm going to bring this down. There is condensation, so you really do need the paper towel on this Miss Maggie move. She don't want to miss nothing. Oh, yeah, a little Miss Maggie, she's right here. And we'll bring this over. Shut that, please. Yeah. I'll bring this over. We're going to undo yeah. The lid. Try not to get water. Whoops. Oh. You can see the condensation. It's got a little bit of condensation, but I think once it cools, it will be fine. Try you got to have oven mitts. I do. Guess, please. You need to take this and dump it on. Dump it right on there? Yeah, let me move this and I'll move the, what do you no, move right here. Oh, oh, I just, okay. I just Hold on just a second. I gotta move a few things. I'm gonna do a second batch. And. I don't know how well I'll do this box. I think you can see right here. You might have to have another cookie sheet. Don't push it if you do. You might have to, yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to get another cookie sheet. So there you have it right there. It looks really, really yummy. And I'll put a picture. I will put a picture on the end. It's hard to do it with one hand.